What's up everyone, welcome back to another Lightroom tutorial. We've got another image sent in. So if you guys like what you see, I'll be putting all the links down in the description for you guys so you can go give her a follow down there. We are going to be working with this image right here, trying to recreate the exact same edit with the same photo. So yeah, let's get into Lightroom, see if we can create something like this awesome tropical look. Here's the edited photo from her Instagram and the raw unedited one here. So very first thing we're going to do over here, enable profile corrections. Get rid of a little bit of a netting. We want that nice bright tropical look. And now let's bring up some warmth. And so I'm going to add in quite a bit of contrast with the curves so I'm just going to flatten it out a little and now I'm going to start with the red green and blue channels to add in some color contrast and then I'm going to come in and do uh, a curve here that adds quite a bit of a fade so starting with the red Okay, so I've added in quite a bit of a quite a bit of contrast with those curves and then a good amount of fade with those shadows. You gotta bring the shadows down to keep a bit of contrast, and then you just want the fade and the blacks there. So coming up here, I'm gonna finalize some of these. Probably bring the shadows up. Because that really helps to get that tropical look, getting rid of all the shadows. Okay, we'll just drop just drop our saturations quite a bit. Get it somewhere in the ballpark. Right, so let's move on to yeah, some hues. Most of these look pretty good. We just look a little too bright, so I'm gonna come down to luminance, drop the reds. So making the colors less bright really deepens them. And I think we've got some pretty deep looking colors. Especially when you drop the orange luminance, you get some really nice darker skin tones. Drop the yellows a bit, but not too much because yellows can give you a real nice shine to your images.
Just trying to match up all the saturations now. So we'll bring yellows down quite a bit more. Orange. Okay, so Hugh's going to actually shift the actual colors. So I'm thinking most of it looks pretty good. I might shift the reds a little. Not many aquas. There's a tiny bit of blue down here. It's a little more teal. Not much purple, not much magenta, and um, our image is lacking a bit of a pop, so I'm going to bring up the clarity, you can see what that does. Just brightens and it adds a real punch to the image. Uh, and our entire image is just a little cold. I think it's a little warmer in her one. So I'm going to do some split toning. And if you look up in areas here, so there's a lot of shadows here. And they look quite warm. So I'm guessing a nice deep orange is in there. Just a little bit. And then it's quite good to add the opposite color or close to an opposite color into the highlights. And I think a tiny bit of purple, this is just a tiny bit, put it in there. And now Put some grain. And I think I will drop the vibrance. that's looking pretty close um, so our subject here the watermelon is looking a little soft so brush over it and I'm gonna bring clarity right up maybe a bit of sharpening not saturation sharpening and it's gonna really pop the main subject of your image. So before and after so far. Getting pretty close. And I think I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, it's pretty darn close. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, you can go give her a follow down in the description if you like her content. There'll be links down there be links to my stuff as well check it out check out my instagram and yeah check out the presets if you're liking these tutorials you'll like those and comment down below who you guys want to see that way i can go through the comments i go through all of them and i check each person you comment and sometimes i reach out to them to do a tutorial on them so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this one 
Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you in the next one.